in the 1960s, um, we have uh, a president who's assassinated. And then a few years later, Martin Luther King, followed by uh, Robert Kennedy. Um, it was the end of innocence. Everything is beginning to change politically in this country. And this whole issue of civil rights, protest of the Vietnam War, this is a time of turmoil, and it's also a time when the term street theater comes about, where people are acting on the street in protest marches. They're bringing the issues to the street so that people can engage with them and be made aware of them. There was a lot of peer pressure to try and get you to change and be more normal in the 50s. In the 60s, everything went bonkers. Suddenly, it wasn't just telling a story. Love-ins, be-ins, art happenings. It was all this bizarre kind of like way of relaying an experience. Anti-war demonstrators protest U.S. involvement in the Vietnam War. The estimated 125,000 Manhattan And Marchers it was um, a new reality that these photographers were already aware of and, and documenting or capturing in their cameras. A lot of the photographers in Streetwise wanted their images to inform, educate, but uh, in many cases make change as well. Suddenly people said, yeah, okay, I could go out there and take pictures of people, you know, and and, um, and photograph life as it is and, and how it's relevant to me in, in, in my life. The civil rights photographers, uh, people were trying to express themselves and it, the photographer was in a sense the historian, the visual historian of what was going on. This is a good example of one of the important issues of the 60s, which is dealing with civil rights. Uh, this photograph by Bruce Davidson was taken in New York City, and here you have this black woman and a white woman sitting at the same counter having a soda, and yet I think it really is important in terms of what it represents that you have this racial tension that's going on in the United States, and Davidson is able to capture that in a single photograph. Um, it's very powerful. You can look at the work in Streetwise as uh, an album of uh, American life at a certain point in time, but I also think it's much more than that because it's, uh, it paints an important picture of a time of change, a time of strife, a time of unrest. It's not necessarily um, the prettiest picture that one might create of that particular time, but I think it's an incredibly accurate picture. You know, people identified it as street photography. It was more about uh, the statement you were making in your photograph and uh, what is it about the photograph that you feel is relevant to any kind of like um, universal statement you want to make. The legacy of 60s street photography is the power of the time, of sharing that decade that was so transitional. And I think to me that is the most powerful lesson that comes um, out of looking at the 60s and all the implications of what that means to us as a society, as a country, um, as individuals. And to have that f work captured in these photographs is a wonderful treasure um, if we're willing to look at them, engage with them, and understand what they're telling us.